Hi there again, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms. Today we're going to take a look at how to troubleshoot triggers. I've seen some questions posted on forums and on a lot of the blogs on both Amazon and eBay and DigitalGoja.com about customers that are confused about how to set up a trigger. Let's take a close look and see what the troubleshooting tips are for Altura Photos wireless trigger set. Again, if this video helps you out, always remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials and sessions such as this. As always, any questions or comments, place them below. And don't forget, whenever in Miami, come visit me at digitalgoja.com showrooms. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have our batteries in here correctly. So you're going to notice you're going to receive four of these AAA batteries. These are the ones that are going to go into your receiver. Now notice that you have the nomenclature right on the inside of the receiver showing where your positive and your negative polarity go. You want to make sure you put them in there correctly. If not, you're not going to get it to work and you run the risk of actually damaging and shorting it out. Plus, notice these tiny little toggle switches in here. You want to have these all facing the same way, whether you have them all facing up or facing down. This is the initial way that you should work this until later on you start noticing that you might have any kind of radio interference. Remember, these guys are 433 megahertz. So we do the same for both. This happens to be a two receiver or two flash kit. So you're going to have two of these receivers and you're going to put in the batteries again following the polarity designations in the nomenclature and also make sure that you have these toggle switches all facing the same way. So once we have that out of the way, then we move on to this little guy. This guy is our transmitter. This is the one that's going to go onto the camera and notice that this is the guy that has the contacts. These guys down here have no contacts whatsoever. They do have the added capability of putting it onto a tripod or a light stand. So there's your quarter inch thread. But this is the guy that actually is getting the signal from your camera. So he's going to be on your hot shoe. Now this guy works with a really funky little battery. You receive this also as a 12 volt battery. This is very popular in a lot of remote controls for garage door openers. It's a 12 volt, so this guy will last you a good long time. And again, this guy also has the little toggle switches. Make sure they are lined up in the same direction. Close it up. Now, we're gonna do a setup for controlling the flashes with your camera. 